Tony Rodham, A Life of Controversy, Connections, and Mystery Anthony Dean Tony Rodham, born on August 8, 1954, in Chicago, Illinois, was the youngest brother of Hillary Clinton and brother-in-law to former U.S. President Bill Clinton. Throughout his life, Rodham was involved in various business ventures and controversies that attracted public attention. Here are 10 of the most scandalous and shocking facts about Tony Rodham. Fact number 1. Early Life and Personal Relationships Tony Rodham was born on August 8, 1954, to Dorothy Howell and Hugh Ellsworth Rodham in Park Ridge, Illinois. Growing up as the youngest of three siblings, including future Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and lawyer Hugh Rodham, Tony experienced a middle-class upbringing in a tight-knit United Methodist household. While Hillary excelled academically and pursued debate and leadership activities, Tony was more inclined toward sports, earning a reputation as a fun-loving jock at Maine South High School. He briefly attended Iowa Wesleyan College and later the University of Arkansas, where he crossed paths with future brother-in-law Bill Clinton. Despite these opportunities, Tony did not complete a degree at either institution, a fact that would be a recurring theme in his career as he sought success in varied industries without formal credentials. In 1994, Tony married Nicole Boxer, the daughter of U.S. Senator Barbara Boxer, in an unprecedented White House wedding presided over by President Bill Clinton. The ceremony cemented his ties to prominent political families. The couple had a son, Zachary, but their relationship ended in a bitter divorce in 2001, marked by public disputes over alimony and child support. In 2005, Tony married Megan Madden, with whom he had two children, Simon and Fiona. This second marriage was less publicized but appeared more stable compared to his first. Number 2. Controversial Presidential Pardons Tony Rodham became embroiled in a significant controversy in 2000 when he helped secure presidential pardons for Edgar and Bonnet Joe Gregory, Tennessee carnival operators convicted of bank fraud. The Gregories reportedly sought clemency due to their inability to continue running their business while imprisoned. Rodham admitted he had discussed the matter with Bill Clinton but denied receiving any compensation, claiming, I was just helping out some good people. However, investigations later revealed that the Gregories paid Rodham $244,769 for consulting services, sparking allegations of a quid pro quo arrangement. Critics accused Rodham of exploiting his brother-in-law's position as president for personal gain. Congressional hearings into the pardons further damaged the Clintons' reputation during Bill's final year in office, with this case cited as an example of ethical lapses in granting clemency. Number 3. Unpaid Alimony and Child Support Tony Rodham's personal life often intersected with public controversies. In 2007, during Hillary Clinton's first presidential campaign, Tony faced a legal battle with ex-wife Nicole Boxer over approximately $158,000 in unpaid alimony and child support. Court filings revealed years of financial delinquency, during which Boxer struggled to secure consistent payments. The timing of the case brought unwanted attention to the Clinton family, with critics using the issue to question Hillary's judgment and integrity. Rodham defended himself by citing financial difficulties, including failing business ventures and mounting legal fees. This incident underscored his pattern of financial instability and fueled speculation about the extent of the Clinton's support for him behind the scenes. Number 4. Involvement in Haitian Gold Mining Tony Rodham's involvement in Haiti's gold mining industry after the 2010 earthquake provoked widespread criticism. As a member of VCS Mining's advisory board, Rodham played a role in the company obtaining a rare gold mining permit, the first issued in Haiti in over 50 years. Given the Clinton Foundation's prominent role in Haiti's reconstruction efforts, many questioned whether Rodham leveraged his family connections to facilitate the deal. Rodham dismissed the accusations, stating, I'm a very accomplished person in my own right. However, the controversy lingered, particularly as Haitian activists and environmental groups opposed the mining project, arguing that it would harm local communities. The optics of Rodham profiting from Haiti's recovery efforts further tarnished his reputation. Number 5. Green Tech Automotive Scandal Rodham's partnership with Terry McAuliffe and Greentech Automotive, an electric car company, became another source of scandal. 
The pair sought to attract foreign investment through the EB-5 visa program, which grants residency to investors who contribute to job creation in the U.S. In 2013, reports surfaced that Rodman McAuliffe had pressured a federal immigration official to expedite visa approvals while Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. The controversy deepened when Greentech faced lawsuits and allegations of financial mismanagement. The project ultimately failed, leaving investors and employees disgruntled. Critics accused Rodham of leveraging political influence for personal financial gain, a recurring theme in his ventures. Number 6. Attempted Hazelnut Venture in Georgia in 1999, Tony and Hugh Rodham pursued a $118 million venture to grow and export hazelnuts from the Republic of Georgia. Their business partner was Aslan Abashids, a political rival of Georgian President Edward Shevardnadze, who was an ally of the United States. The venture drew the attention of the U.S. State Department and National Security Advisor Sandy Berger, who warned that it could undermine U.S.-Georgian relations. Under pressure, the Rodham brothers abandoned the deal, but the episode highlighted Tony's willingness to pursue high-risk ventures regardless of geopolitical implications. Number 7. Financial Troubles and Legal Issues By the 2010s, Tony Rodham faced severe financial challenges. He was behind on mortgage payments and risked foreclosure on his Virginia home. Additionally, his lawyer sued him for unpaid legal fees related to his child support case. During court proceedings, Rodham admitted his reliance on financial support from the Clintons had ended, stating, Hillary and Bill are done. I mean, look at what they've done for me. They've given me money all the time. This admission painted a picture of a man struggling to navigate life independently despite his family's political prominence. Number 8 controversial role in Haiti housing deal. Rodham and his business partners proposed a $22 million housing project in post-earthquake Haiti, aiming to rebuild homes in devastated areas. Funding for the project was reportedly to come from the Clinton Foundation, but the deal never materialized. The foundation denied knowledge of the proposal, but critics questioned whether Rodham had attempted to capitalize on his family connections once again. This episode added to the perception of Rodham as someone willing to blur ethical lines for personal business ventures. Number 9. Mysterious Death Tony Rodham died unexpectedly on June 7, 2019, at the age of 64. His sister, Hillary Clinton, announced his passing on Twitter, calling him kind, generous, and a wonderful husband to Meghan and father to Simon, Fiona, and Zach. However, no cause of death was disclosed, leading to widespread speculation. Some sources suggested Rodham had been battling health issues, including heart problems, while others floated unsubstantiated rumors ranging from financial stress to potential foul play. The lack of transparency added a layer of intrigue to his death, mirroring the controversies that had defined much of his life. Critics and supporters alike debated whether his passing reflected the culmination of years of financial and personal difficulties. Number 10. Alleged Misuse of Political Connections Throughout his life, Rodham faced allegations of exploiting his familial ties for personal benefit. From soliciting donations for Bill Clinton's inauguration to pursuing lucrative but ethically questionable ventures, Rodham often found himself under scrutiny. While some argued he was simply a businessman trying to make his way, others saw him as emblematic of nepotism and the ethical dilemmas surrounding political dynasties. Despite these controversies, his family maintained their public support, with Hillary once describing him as someone who always tried to do the right thing but often fell short. <laughs>